Damn, bro. Ah, the main man is inside. What do you do for a living, man? People call me Neymar Jr. on the pitch, but a part time racing driver. Oh my god, you play football? I'm not that good. We have to play together, man. Yeah, we can. How do you get into it? 2012, go karting and all the way up until this point. So it's been a long time, 10 years racing. How much would you say you have spent for all this? I can't put a number on it. I'm at a point where I want to get paid and do it professionally. That's the goal in the end. You're in F3, is it? I was in F3 last year. Bosch Malaysia called me and they said they wanted a driver. So here I am. Oh, wow. You got that opportunity? Yeah. What's the best racing advice? Because I'm into racing right now. Yeah. Give me one, man. Big balls, man. <laughs> Don't be you yeah. have to have the guts to do it. Especially in this Singapore GP track. You're in Singapore, <laughs> I get to catch you here. Where you're based in KL. KL yeah. Tell me more about this thing, man. What is yeah. all these buttons? There's many buttons on the steering wheel. We don't have to use much during the races, obviously. Pit limiter, important. Wiper when it rains. This is my favorite button. Favorite button for what? It's high beam. So oh. when I click it, it spams the light. So when I need people to get out of my way, I just spam the button. So uh. I love doing it during the races as well. When the guy in front of me doesn't want to give way, I just spam it. <laughs> My radio, my star. There's a lot of things you can see here. Different displays you can use. Oh, there's a map. Thing. That's the track map. Obviously, we don't use it. And here I have the track map here, track map here. And we have some extra buttons here. It gets and hot, right? I think in this car, it goes to like 60, 65 degrees in the cockpit because we don't have any air on. We just have a fan. It gets pretty bad. Not gonna lie, during the race, I was suffering towards the end of the race today. I know of people losing weight after the race. Yeah, you lose yeah. a lot. One thing about it is like in Formula 3, because it's open, you don't feel the heat so much. But mm -hmm. in this, because it's a closed cockpit, you're literally in an oven, you know, so you boil. What advice do you have for some? who wants to get into racing. Let's say, say it's me. You race go-karts? I try to. I think go-karts is the first step. If you're good at go-karts, you'll be good at racing. My opponents are all old people, man. <laughs> beat them first. I do beat them. What's the next step? Enter your local racing series. Singapore is a bit hard for racing, but in Malaysia, you're blessed to have so many local series you can enter and practice. Ah, so, that's for Malaysians, I guess. You gotta go to Sepang, man. I gotta go to Sepang. You gotta take me there, man. Best track in the world. Thank you so much, man. Sorry, can I actually sit for oh. a while and then see oh. the things? I'll just get in, bro. This is the steering wheel for Porsche Carrera Cup. So this is how it looks like all the options are here and all the settings are here i'm boiling bro <laughs> oh my god i can't believe it and you're wearing all your gear as well yeah 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 it's bad bro this is the lightest door i've ever felt man full carbon fiber you can see all reliable it's a track car, man. That's what a track car is, right? I like this livery. Tell me more about it. It was an like in-house competition from the Porsche Malaysia staff. In the end, I picked this one as the winning one and also decided between all of us. They picked the winner. There was a few variations, but I like this one the best. So this is what's on the car. Damn! It's wow! Inspired livery. Obviously representing Malaysia. Wow! <laughs>